hey guys welcome back to this channel uh, in this video I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide towards uh, simulating 3d objects in vPython uh, vPython is one of the visualization tools we have that is built uh, based on uh, Python and other languages so I'll be showing you how you can create them and how you can simulate their motion so let's get started by creating a, a new script and beginning by importing uh, the tool which is the vPython and I'll try to import each and everything so I can say from vPython uh, import each and everything that is within that package and then I'll begin by creating uh, a sphere which I can label as the ball equals sphere and then this sphere takes on different arguments like position axis you need to specify the size you can specify the color so I'll begin by specifying the position let me keep it uh, the position is always a vector so I can keep it as the x to be 0 y to be 0 and then z to be 0 and then I can specify then the axis axis is also a vector so this is a vector and uh, I can say uh, let it be towards the x axis or within the y x y z but I can say x to be that 0 and then y to be 0 uh, likewise I can set the size since this is a sphere that is defined by the radius here we only define the radius we can say uh, this is equal to 0 0.5 and then I can specify the color uh, color equals color dot let's say green or just red okay so this can be enough to simulate some of those objects uh, the, the ball so if I try to run let's see what what happens I can restart the kernel first then when I do that let me run it again and then you can see that it's busy so it will open up another window uh, with default yeah there we are so it has been a little bit slow but there there we have it so radius can be controlled by that color can be controlled so in this part I can I'll try to reduce uh, the radius to make it maybe 0 0.2 and then always we need to restart the kernel that is from my computer I'm not sure if this is the no the normal train but from my computer if I don't restart the kernel then uh, it will not run again so I'm not sure why but if you know the reason why then you can always drop down your comment uh, below then I can go to so I just want to show you what type of other objects we can create so I'll take you straight to the vPython uh, vPython website if you go to vPython and uh, you have vPython.org then we have uh, a lot of things here but then we can simply go to uh, the documentation which is here if you go to the documentation you can see that here we have several stuff that you can change or you can check about like for example if you want to make an arrow then you just go to arrow which looks like this and then it is defined by again the position you can define the position the axis and then the shaft width okay so if we do that then we have if we go back we can control you can say arrow uh, equals arrow which is the command then I will make sure that I have the same position let's see what it will give us and then I'll make sure that I have the same color or I can change the color maybe to uh, to green okay so position is zero 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 and then this is uh, color I'll keep it yellow and then let's have the axis to be the same 
but you can you can change always this as you want and then we have that shaft if you don't put shaft with this this can be set to a default value there's always a default value so i can keep this to one if we go further to do that let's go back to the website and see what else we can we can change we can create let's have there's a cone a cone has these different uh, specifications okay you can specify again the position so it's all about knowing what type of image or object you want to create and then you can always uh, call that function that that plots uh, that object so if we have cone here so I'll call it cone equals that so we can see that uh, again we are doing the same thing uh, the cone the radius we are specifying okay and then we can as well specify the color or it will, be, it will come by default if I do this and run uh, let's see what will come up with if I run then my computer is a little bit slow uh, sorry about that so you can see that we have a cone which is big and then we have an arrow which looks like this okay and then we have a ball because they have the same uh, vector position but I can change this one for the arrow and give it maybe uh, let it start at maybe five okay the color is that color shaft is maybe uh, I can change something here in terms of uh, the size okay so that they can clearly match and then the cone is too big so I can change this one maybe to also uh, axis six and then let it be at maybe also seven and then I can try to run again and see what we have <laughs> mm. so when I do that you can see there's a, a separation and shift moves uh, shift and then holding the left button moves the op uh, the objects from one position to another and then uh, using the center button for the mouse tries to to zoom in and out likewise if I place down the right uh, button for the mouse this is what happens okay so basically the rest is just uh, looking at how you can make these ones look better and nicer for example making the uh, the sphere a little bit big and then the cone to be a little bit uniform okay by just playing with these dimensions uh, let's look at the case if we wanted to have uh, a text okay so I'll just uh, mute these two and let's look at how we can uh, okay yeah so I'll mute these these ones and then let's see if you wanted a text what we can what we could do so if you wanted a text uh, we have text right here and then text takes on the actual string that we need alignment and then the color okay so I'll use this command just copy and paste it here so we are using the text command what type of text we need okay and I can say uh, this is my video on vPython okay so 
I this makes the green uh, to go on a new line okay and then we have center otherwise we can specify and then the color I'll try to restart my kennel and then run it again so if I try to run let's see what happens yeah this is my video on vpython vpython okay uh, the green is down but I can have other stuff it is well centered otherwise we can specify so like I mentioned you can see all these attributes you can change the height uh, the depth the font the billboard color uh, and so on okay the vertical spacing these are all attributes that we can change and then finally we have uh, a ring a ring there are so many things you can check here we have a ring where you can change the position the axis and then the radius okay so let's try to use this command right here I will again mute this one okay no more uh, and then we have down here I need a ring so I can call this one okay so when we have this just in the same way we have uh, specified the position the axis and then the radius and the thickness okay I can change the thickness a little bit to 0.2 uh, restart my kennel and then run it again to see how the ring looks like Oh, I need to restart the kennel. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me run it. Oh, I can. Let me restart it again. Once again. Uh, so somehow I am having uh, a, a trouble with uh, with my computer, but I know somehow it is always with a kennel. So you can see that uh, we have our ring, which I can zoom in and uh, out, and then by shift left button, then I can move it from one position. So this is. Uh, an object that looks very nice that you can simulate and then it's it's moving from one position to uh, another position uh, by creating some ropes so let's uh, let's look at this if I wanted this ring to move from one position to another how I would do that I already have my my object created so now we need to move it. So I'll begin by creating a, a velocity vector. So I can call that one velocity. Okay. And this is going to be a vector depending on which direction I want to uh, the ring to move. Let's say that it only moves in a x, x direction. So I can give this velocity 10. This is 0 and the one for z and y to be 0. Let's set the change in time, delta t maybe to be 0 0.5. Okay, then our ring uh, dot position, we need to have the position updating uh, plus equals uh, vel times delta t. Okay, so this is the equation that is going to help us to move the object to be moving. Uh, along the x-axis and it will be updating based on the time that we're going to be that will be running for so 
uh, I initialize my time to be 0 and then I can say uh, while t is less than 10 okay so we have this equation down here and then we need to have a specific rate we can keep the rate simple maybe 20 and then finally the time has to change uh, t equals t plus delta t okay when we have this I expect that my object will have to run until t is less than 10 but let me restart my kernel uh, until it's ready to use okay now it's ready so I'm going to run this again And as you can see, it's already this way. So it's very fast that I could not even see it. Okay. So what we are going to do uh, is to play with the, to play with the rate to keep it very small. So I'll keep this one. I'll keep even the delta t a little bit small and. Uh, yeah maybe this way it, it will move a little bit slow so I will run this again yeah so this way it's not very fast so it's moving towards the Z as you can see so what's the reason here actually uh, it's moving along which axis x axis okay but the position was 1 1 so uh, it's moving along that uh, axis which is uh, it's along y but the velocity I gave it is along the x axis let's let's change something here and keep it 10 and uh, likewise this to be 0 and see what will happen let's try out something and see what will happen okay uh, the best way um, the best way to learn is by keep changing stuff and see what each change so you can see that it's moving along that axis but still very fast so I can control that by uh, making the rate a little bit slow so uh, this is how we can try to simulate the motion of uh, these 3d uh, objects um, thanks for watching kindly subscribe to my channel uh, for more uh, I'm here to learn more from you from your comments uh, that you put below and also as I continue practicing my skills and to learn more okay uh, check out my other video that is on 3d objects